Hello guys, this is Ray Wangari. Today I'm back with another Maboyu video. So we are doing lime Maboyu and these are the ingredients. We'll be using Maboyu, water, sugar, cardamom, black pepper, lime flavor, uh, green color and Maboyu powder. We'll start with boiling the water and then you can add your sugar and this is the first step to making your sugar syrup so just boil your sugar and your water together until you get big bubbles so this is what we get after 20 to 20 to 30 minutes so just add your food color at this point and then this will help you to be able to see the thickness of the sugar syrup Make sure to keep stirring your sugar syrup because you don't want it to stick to the sides or to the bottom. And uh, at this point, just add your spices, which is cardamom and black pepper. This is around 30 minute mark, up to 40 minutes. So it all depends on how high your heat is. I'm using medium high heat. Once your sugar syrup is thick enough, turn off the heat and add your flavoring, which is the lime. And then you can add your maboyu seeds, which is baobab seeds. And then just mix them if you can with a um, wooden stick because a spatula is going to bend under the weight, especially if you're working with a lot of baobab seeds. So just mix and don't get tired until all the seeds are fully coated in the sugar syrup and all the seeds should be green before you start adding any baobab powder. my maboyu is fully coated as you see it looks just right so i'll just add my ma sifted baba powder because it has a lot of uh, dirt so make sure you sieve it first and then just mix in to the seeds and make sure all the seeds get extra coating of baba powder which makes the whole maboyu experience enjoyable so just stir it and make sure all the seeds are fully coated and they're all uh, the same color I must point out that you must use your discretion when using your baba powder because if you use too much powder you might have to make more sugar syrup just so you can give the maboyu a good color so you don't have to use all the baba powder just use it to your discretion until your maboyu is evenly coated and evenly uniform you know in color just like this so mine is already ready i've mixed it for a while don't get tired just make sure you have a nice product sometimes you may have to use a lot of force just to get the ones especially in the center bottom center so make sure you don't miss out on any once you've finished mixing it, just uh, pour it onto trays so it's now ready for drying. Just pour it nicely and uh, be careful not to pour too much on you know, your countertop or your cooker or wherever you're pouring it. I'm using several trays. There's no point in putting too much on one tray because it will not dry properly. So that's it guys, I'm done with my maboyu. This is my finished maboyu. I've made two flavors. If you want to see how I make orange maboyu, it's available on my channel. Please watch it and learn with me. Thanks so much for coming back. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I have so much more for you. Thanks for watching and goodbye.